Hey, Todd Faircloth here, Strike King Pro Staff Member. I'll talk to you a little bit about a couple of things that I do to my jig, you know, when I get it out of my package. This is Strike King's uh, new jig. Uh, um, Andy Montgomery uh, helped design. It's a, it's a dock skipping jig. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about this jig. It's a, it's a well, real versatile jig. You can fish this jig around docks. It's, it's, it's really good at skipping. Uh, it's got a good strong hook in it. You can fish it around wood, brush. Um, it's just gonna be a real versatile jig for us. Um, when I get a jig, uh, the first thing I do is I'll trim the skirt. And I, I usually like for it to have, this one's a little long, I hadn't, I hadn't trimmed it yet, but I'll, I'll trim it about a quarter of an inch past the bend of the, of the hook here. And uh, the next thing I do is I check the length of my weed guard. I want it about an eighth of an inch past the point of the hook. But the, the most important thing that I do that I don't hardly ever see anybody do is I'll take and spread my weed guard out. I've already spread this one out a little bit and uh, I just kind of loosen it up a little bit. And what this does is this uh, creates kind of a paintbrush deal to the weed guard there. It helps with hook penetration and it also for, acts as kind of a rudder to the jig. It helps the jig fall straighter, stand up straighter, as opposed to being a pencil paint uh, pencil weed guard you know the jig will kind of roll sometimes as it's falling so uh give this this little trick a try next time you're jig fishing and i think it'll help you out